मस्त फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल फिजिक्स बॉय आई एम मेकिंग ए सीरीज ऑफ वीडियोस फॉर यू ऑन जेस 2018 सॉल्व पेपर नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस पार्ट बी फ्रॉम जेस 2018 यू विल आल्सो गेट सॉल्यूशन ऑफ पार्ट ए एंड पार्ट सी ऑन दिस YouTube चैनल द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वाज ए पर्सन ऑन अर्थ ऑब्जर्व टू रॉकेट्स ए एंड बी डायरेक्टली अप्रोचिंग ईच अदर विथ स्पीड 0.8 c and 0.6 c respectively at a time when the distance between the rocket is observed to be 4.2 into 10 to the power 8 meter the clocks of the rockets and the earth are synchronized to t is equal to 0 second the time of collision in seconds of the two rockets as measured in rocket a's frame is x by 10 what is x let us first visualize this problem it is given that the observer on the earth observing these two rockets a and b directly approaching each other as shown in this figure and the speed of the rocket a with respect to earth is 0.8 c and you can say this is v a and speed of rocket b with respect to earth is 0.6 c let's say this is v b and it is also given that when the distance ab that is the distance between the two rocket is 4.2 into 10 to the power 8 meter then time is t is equal to 0 let us consider te be the time of collision of the two rockets as measured by an observer on the earth and the point o be the point of collision that is these two rockets collides with each other at this point o so from this figure we can write ao plus ob is equal to ab and also we can write ao is equal to ba times te and ob is equal to vb times te now from this equation as ba and vb is given so you can calculate te and the value of te is 1 second so till now we get the time of collision measured by an observer sitting on the earth is equal to 1 second but we have to calculate ta that is the time of collision of the two rockets as measured by an observer sitting on the rocket a so in this problem te measured from earth that is a rest frame and ta measured from rocket a which is a moving frame so we can use this formula te is equal to ta by square root of 1 minus b a square by c square where t e is the time of collision measured from earth and t a is the time of collision measured from rocket a and b a is the velocity of rocket a with respect to earth and c is the speed of light now by putting the value of t e and b a on this formula we will get t a is equal to 0.6 that is t a is equal to 6 by 10 Now, if you compare six by ten with x by ten, then you will get x is equal to six. So, for this problem, correct answer is triple zero six. The next question is: In the circuit shown below, the capacitor is initially uncharged. Immediately after the key is closed, the reading in the ammeter is twenty-seven milliampere. What will the reading in milliampere be a long time later? Friends, you know, for charging capacitor, current through the capacitor is I is equal to I not e to the power minus T by tau. If you put T is equal to zero on this formula, you will get I is equal to I not. This is the maximum current through the capacitor. As time goes on, current through the capacitor is exponentially decreases, and at very long time later, that is when T is equal to infinite. From this formula, you will get. I is equal to zero, and this is the minimum current through the charging capacitor. So for this problem, immediately after the key is closed, that is at time t is equal to zero, current through the capacitor is I not. So at t is equal to zero, the AB portion behaves like short circuited, and the given circuit becomes like this. So at t is equal to zero, the equivalent resistance is equal to 2R. If you need to see the details calculation, then please pause this video and watch the details calculation. And in this problem, it is given that at t is equal to zero, the reading in the ammeter is 27 milliampere. Let us consider V not is the EMF of the cell of this circuit. So the current through the circuit is V not by 2R. So at t is equal to zero, current through ammeter is V not by 2R times 3R by 5R, which is equal to 27 milliampere. It is given in the problem. 
so from by simplifying this we get v naught by r which is equal to 90 after a long time capacitor is fully charged so current through the capacitor is zero as i shown earlier so at t is equal to infinite the ab portion behaves like open circuit so the given circuit becomes like this so at t is equal to infinite the equivalent register is equal to 21 by 10 r so current through this circuit is equal to v naught by r equivalent which is equal to v naught by 21 r by 10 so 10 v naught by 21 r so finally after a long time the reading in the ammeter is equal to this current 10 v naught by 21R times 7R by 10R which is equal to 1 third V0 by R. Now by putting the value of V0 by R we get current through the ammeter is equal to 30 milliampere. So the correct answer is 0030. The next question is two conductors are embedded in a material of conductivity 10 to the power minus 4 ohm meter and dielectric constant epsilon which is equal to 80 times epsilon naught the resistance between the two conductors is 10 to the power 6 ohm what is the capacitance in picofarad between the two conductors ignore the decimal part of the answer friends you know capacitance between the two conductors c is equal to k epsilon naught a by d and you know resistance r is equal to rho d by a where r is the resistance rho is the resistivity and d is the distance between the two conductor and a is the area and you know rho can be written as 1 by sigma where sigma is the conductivity so from this equation we get d by a is equal to r times sigma in this problem k is equal to 80 and r is equal to 10 to the power 6 ohm and sigma is equal to 10 to the power minus 4 ohm meter so from the so we can calculate the capacitance c is equal to k epsilon by r sigma so by putting the value of all these quantities we get 7 picofarad so the correct answer is triple zero seven next question is consider a simple pendulum in three dimensional space it consists of a string length l is equal to 20 centimeter and a bob mass m is equal to 50 kg attached to it as shown in the figure below the acceleration due to gravity is downward as shown in the figure with a magnitude g is equal to 10 meter per second square the pendulum is pulled in the xz plane to a position where the string makes an angle theta is equal to pi by 3 with the z axis it is then released with an angular velocity omega radians per second about the z axis what should be the value of omega in radians per second so that the angle the string makes with the z axis does not change with time in this problem it is given that the value of string length l is equal to 20 centimeter which is equal to 0.2 meter and the mass of the bob is equal to 50 kg and acceleration due to gravity g is 10 meter per second square from this figure you can see all the forces that is acting on the bob of the pendulum where t is the tension of the string and r is the radius of the circle on which the bob is rotating with an angular velocity omega and m omega square r is centrifugal force due to the rotation of the bob so at equilibrium t cos theta is equal to mg and t sin theta is equal to m omega square r so from these two equation we get tan theta is equal to omega square r by g now look at this figure from the triangle o a b we get sin theta is equal to r by l so r is equal to l sin theta and theta is equal to pi by 3 so by putting the value of theta we get l root 3 by 2 so from this equation we get r is equal to square root of 3 by 2 times l now by putting the value of theta and r on the equation 1 we get 10 pi by 3 is equal to omega square square root of 3 l by 2 g by simplifying this we get omega is equal to 10 radian per second so the correct answer is double zero one zero next question is two parallel rails of a railroad track are insulated from each other and from the ground the distance between the rails is one meter a voltmeter is electrically connected between the rails assume the vertical component 
component of the earth's magnetic field to be 0.2 gauss what is the voltage developed between the rails when a train travels at a speed of 180 km per hour along the track give your answer in millivolts friends you know the voltage developed between the two rails is equal to e equal to b v l where b is the magnetic field v is the velocity of the train and l is the separation distance between the rails and in this question b is equal to 0.2 gauss which is equal to 0.2 into 10 to the power minus 4 tesla and l is equal to 1 meter and v is equal to 180 kilometer per hour which is equal to 50 meter per second so by putting the value of these quantities we get e is equal to 1 millivolt so the correct answer is triple zero one next question is the normalized eigenfunctions and eigenvalues of the hamiltonian of a particle confined to move between 0 to a in one dimension are psi n which is equal to square root of 2 by a times sin n phi x by a friends here is one print mistake on the question paper you know this is not 2 by a it will be square root of 2 by a and e n is equal to n square pi square h cut square by 2 m a square respectively suppose that the state of the particle is psi x is equal to a sin x pi x by a times 1 plus cos pi x by a where a is the normalization constant if the energy of the particle is measured the probability to get the result as pi square h cut square by 2 m a square is x by 100 what is the value of x the given state of the particle is psi x is equal to a sin pi x by a times 1 plus cos pi x by a you can simplify this function by using trigonometry and by simplifying this we get a sin pi x by a plus a by 2 sin 2 pi x by a this is not a normalized wave function so we have to normalize it at first let's find normalization constant a by using normalization condition integration 0 to a psi star x psi x dx is equal to 1 now by putting the value of psi and psi star we get this equation now by integrating and simplifying this we get a is equal to square root of 8 by 5a so normalize wave function is equal to square root of 8 by 5a sin pi x a plus square root of 8 by 5a half sin 2 a pi x by a so this can be written as square root of 4 by 5 times psi 1 x plus square root of 4 by 5 times half psi 2 x where psi 1 is the ground state wave function and psi 2 is the fast excited state wave function and the ground state energy is equal to pi square h cut square by 2 m a square so the probability to get the energy eigenvalue which is equal to pi square h cut square by 2 m a square is equal to 4 by 5 which is equal to 80 by 100 so comparing this with x by 100 we get x is equal to 80 so the correct answer is 0080 the question was consider the transistor circuit shown in this figure assume vbe is equal to 0.7 volt and vbb is equal to 6 volt and the leakage current is is negligible what is the required value of rb in kilo ohms if the base current is to be 4 micro ampere let us first consider this is loop 1 now on this loop you have to apply kvl by applying kvl you will get vbb minus vbe is equal to ib times rb from this equation you have to find base resistance rb where vbb B, B, E and I, B is given on this question. So by putting the values of these quantities, you will get this equation. By solving this equation, you have to find base resistance R, B in kilo ohms. By solving this equation, you will get 1325 kilo ohm. So the correct answer is 1325. 
a harmonic oscillator has the following Hamiltonian. It is perturbed with a potential V is equal to lambda times x to the power 4. Sum of the matrix elements of x square in terms of the expectation value in the ground state are given as follows, where k n is the normalized eigenstate of h naught corresponding to the eigenvalue e n is equal to h cut omega times n plus half. Suppose del E0 and del E1 denote the energy correction of the order of lambda to the ground state and the first excited state respectively. What is the fraction of del E1 by del E0? Now I am going to solve this question in three different methods. So watch this video till the end to get three different types of solution which will also help you for future examination. Okay, let me first write the first order energy correction of harmonic oscillator for any state due to perturbation term lambda x to the power 4 del E n is equal to lambda times bra n x to the power 4 ket n. Let's say this is the equation 1. Remember this equation because I will recall this general equation after few seconds. You know for ground state n is equal to 0. So from equation 1 you can write the first order energy correction of the ground state del E0 is equal to lambda bra 0 x to the power 4 ket 0. Just put the value of n is equal to 0 on the equation 1 then you will get this equation number 2. This is the first order energy correction of harmonic oscillator and, and you know for harmonic oscillator position operator can be written in terms of creation and annihilation operator like this. Now taking the square both side we get x square is equal to h cut by 2m omega times a square plus a dagger square plus a a dagger plus a dagger a. Now from equation 2 we can write this equation. Look at this equation here I just split x to the power 4 term into two parts. Now inserting x square from the above equation we get this equation. Now you can simplify right hand side of this equation like this. Now look at the first term on the right hand side of this equation here annihilation operator operating on zero state twice so this will give you zero value. Now look at the second term on the right hand side of this equation here the creation operator operating on zero state twice so it will rise zero state twice so this will give you square root of 2 times bra 0 x square k 2. Now look at the third term, at first you have to operate creation operator once then you have to operate annihilation operator so this term will give you bra 0 x square k 0 and finally look at the fourth term where you have to apply annihilation operator on 0 state so this will give you 0 so fourth term is equal to 0 so among this fourth term we have two non-zero term now the matrix element of x square in terms of its expectation value in the ground state is given in the question. So inserting these values we get the first order energy correction of harmonic oscillator on ground state is equal to h cut square lambda by 2m omega times 3c. Now for first excited state n is equal to 1. So if you put n is equal to 1 on the equation 1 then you will get first order energy correction of the first excited state del E1 is equal to lambda bra 1 x to the power 4 ket 1 which is equal to lambda bra 1 x square times x square ket 1. Now again putting the value of x square from the previous equation we get this equation. Here also we have four terms as in the previous case. Now if you operate creation and annihilation operator on the first excited state in each of these four terms and if you put the matrix element given in the question then you will get three non-zero term. So watch this calculation carefully. Now look at the first term on the right hand side of this equation. Here annihilation operator operating on one state. So this will create a zero state. So from this first term we get bra 1 x square a k 0. Now look at the second term where a creation operator operating on one state. So this will give this term. Similarly look at the third term here also a creating operator operating on one state. So by simplifying this third term we get this term. 
and now look at the fourth term here a annihilation operator operating on one state so this will give this term each of these four term contain either creation operator or annihilation operator again by simplifying this four term one by one we get first term is equal to zero second term is equal to this and third term equal to this fourth term equal to this now the matrix element of x square in terms of its expectation value in the ground state is given in the question so by inserting these values we get first order energy correction of harmonic oscillator on the first excited state is equal to 15 c lambda h cut square by 2 m omega finally we get both energy corrections so the ratio of these two energy correction is equal to 5 so correct answer is 5 Now I am going to discuss the second method. This is the given Hamiltonian of one dimensional harmonic oscillator with perturbation lambda x to the power 4. You know the ground state wave function of harmonic oscillator is written as psi naught which is equal to m omega by pi h cut whole to the power 1 fourth times e to the power minus m omega x square by 2 h cut and the wave function of the first excited state of harmonic oscillator is written as psi 1 which is equal to m omega by pi h cut whole to the power 1 fourth times square root of 2 m omega by h cut times x times e to the power m omega x square by 2 h cut. Now you have to calculate the ratio of first order energy correction of first excited state and first order energy correction of ground state of simple harmonic oscillator. At first I am going to find first order energy correction for the ground state from the time independent perturbation theory. First order energy correction of ground state del E0 is equal to k psi 0 lambda x to the power 4 bra psi 0. Now by putting the value of ground state wave function psi 0 here we get this equation. Now you see that here we have to evaluate this integration. We can use this general formula to perform this type of integration. Here we have x to the power 4 term. So we have to put n is equal to 2 in, the, in this general formula. Nothing else. Now come back to the energy correction formula after putting the value of this integration. So we end up with the value of del E0 is equal to 3 lambda h cut square by 4 m square omega square. Similarly, we have to find the first order energy correction of the first excited state. Here we have to insert wave function of the first excited state of the harmonic oscillator. As in the previous case, here also we have to evaluate this integration. The only difference is here x to the power 6 term is present instead of x to the power 4 term. So by putting the value of n3 in the general integration formula, as I said earlier, after inserting this value of integration, we, so we end up with the value of del E1, which is equal to 15 lambda h cut square by 4 m square omega square. So the ratio is 5. For this question, you must be answered by integers of 4 digits in JST exam. So the answer is triple zero five now i am going to discuss the third method to solve this question here just you have to remember a general formula of harmonic oscillator nothing else then you can solve this type of problem in a very short time okay the formula is the first order energy correction of harmonic oscillator for any state due to perturbating term lambda x to the power 4 is equal to this where x is given by this equation if you put the value of x in this equation then you will get a general formula which is equal to lambda h cut square by 4 m square omega square times 6 n square plus 6 n plus 3 now to find the first order energy correction of ground state you have to put n is equal to 0 then you will get and to calculate the first order energy correction of the first excited state you have to put n is equal to 1 in this formula then you can find the ratio of these two term which is equal to 5 
Now I am going to share a tips and tricks for upcoming examination and for any future examination. Okay, I already discussed the a formula that if the perturbating term contains x to the power four term, then you can calculate first order energy correction of any state like ground state or first excited state or second excited state and so on. By using this formula, you have to just put the value of n is equal to zero for ground state and for n is equal to one in your for first excited state and so on. Now, if the perturbating term contains x square term, then you can calculate first order energy correction of any state by using this formula. You have to just put the value of n only, nothing else. Now, if the perturbating term contains x or x cube term or any odd power of x term, then the energy correction of any state will be zero. If you, as I said in the beginning of this video, you will also get remaining solution on my YouTube channel. So stay tuned with Physics Boy. If you have any query or any suggestion then please feel free to write me on the comment section of this video subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button and click the bell icon to enjoy the latest uploads from our channel